Good morning. <laughs> I'm back. I am going to install a shower today right here with this propane tank. I would not advise putting a propane tank near your bumper, but I really don't have a choice. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to drill it in with this bad boy over here and over here, bolt it in, and then that's just step one. <laughs> um, as I mentioned uh, in the last video, last two videos, I had a little surgery. Uh, went well. It was just a minor preventative type thing, although I didn't make a video for two weeks. I was kind of recovering. So, I'm back. I have eaten up my whole <laughs> um, buffer, and uh, I kind of wish that I had another buffer because the pressure of having to edit uh, within 24 hours is, uh, you know, maybe too much for me. I think I like a weak buffer. Anyways, let's begin. So for the drilling part, I have two different sizes of uh, drill bits. And I have these uh, quarter 20 bolts over here uh, by two inches. So that's going to go, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a, a little bracket thing on the side. So um, I'm just going to line this up and see where it should sit. Was a lot easier than I thought. All right, I'm gonna open it up with this larger size. We got metal shards in my fingers. Good thing I'm not close to it. I'm getting hot metal shards on my skin. It's not the most enjoyable thing. Okay, let's see if the bolts fit. Yes, plenty of space. All right, so that's good. Now, ugh, it's a little hard to operate under here, but. All right, now I wanna show you guys something. So that's a two inch gap. Just take my word for it, I measured. So I'm gonna have to make a two inch gap from this hole that I just made right here over to the left two inches uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now alright this is my super high tech thing there's two holes and I'm going to put one over one hole and then drill the other one into place so that will require this bolt and I'll slide this you can't see that too well but my super high tech measuring system is that I need to drill the little hole right there and that one's in. What I didn't mention before is that I have these spacers because it's a little bit too wide. So these came from the plumbing department. These are called ceiling flange, three quarter inch galvanized steel. So these are gonna go out like so. Actually gonna go on top. And add a little wiggle room for me. Step two, after drilling and putting the uh, wideners in is to secure the bolts to the frame and we're going to do that with these nuts and uh, a couple little tools actually these look a little too long I think I think I'm going to go back to the hardware store and get the shorter ones alright went to the Lowe's and I got 
larger bolts. Um, I figured this thing is going to be about 50 to 100 pounds. Uh, so here are the new bolts. Let me show you old bolts. Here are the old bolts. New ones are shorter and thicker of a gauge. Quite considerably thicker. So we are going to continue installing the propane tank. Here we go. There's a good shot of it. I bolted them in with the larger bolts. I bored out the hole with the uh, 5 16 drill bit and secured them somewhat. They are still a little movable just in case I need to adjust it for this part here. So that's this is going to sit on what I just installed. All right, here we have uh, the tank mounted up. As you can see, there's a little gap in between the metal. So I'm going to go back to the hardware store and get some washers. One for the top um, because it's pretty wide up top. And then I'm going to fill the middle part right there with some washers. And back blows. I got more stuff. Let me show you what I just did here. So I put the plate above the frame and uh, I bolted it in uh, here and here with some uh, vinyl lock nuts, whatever these things are called. Put some spacers in the middle because the ceiling flange has a little kind of space if you can see that. Uh, put uh, washers in between and then put a washer on top and then I got it bolted in on both sides. Uh, <clears throat> I got the same thing going on over on this side, and uh, I'm just about to uh, drill these in. We're in, we're done. This tank, this propane tank is installed. I uh, wouldn't say the cleanest or the most professional job, but it's definitely gonna work. All right, so the reason I added washers is that there is a little thing on top there, but more importantly, the reason is clearance. Clearance, because this puppy is between the bumper and the diesel tank right here and I really don't want it to explode so the higher clearance the better and even adding three quarters of an inch or so um, before it was hanging this part was below and then it was sitting flush so it's a, probably a solid inch higher which you know an inch could make a big difference but as you can see from back here if you have a straight line from bumper to bottom of diesel tank the propane tank is not affected so even though it was only an inch it still it still helped out a little bit so uh, there's plenty of uh, room for clearance here for someone to fill up the tank right here with this cap there's plenty of room for the uh, person at the gas station um, to use the tool um, and reach down here. I feel bad they're going to have to get under the bus, but um, that's just how it's going to work. <laughs> this is the easiest way to install. The side of the bus was a little bit more complicated, and even though it is slightly dangerous to have it on the rear of the bus next to the bumper, it's still a good two feet in, and I sit about 18 feet forward, so if somebody hits me, they're going to explode, not me. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I don't want anyone to explode, for the record. <laughs>